Thank you all for coming to In Vivo. Before we give you an official welcome, we want to start with a word from one of our sponsors. sales go directly to the charity so we really appreciate you all showing out tonight and thanks to you we were able to raise I'm doing the math right now but I think we're close to one million dollars no, uh, one thousand dollars tonight which is <laughs> this year we have been through a lot as a fine community we have made it through countless required 8 a.m. sessions Broken friendships over lucid charts. Required plenaries the day before break. And the Dean's listening crusade. <coughs> the tour, listening tour. Yeah, that's essentially what it is. Uh, and today we're just here to laugh at ourselves, poke fun at our peers, and get revenge on those who have wronged us. Uh, what? What? I said provide entertainment for the community. Right. Well, we have an incredible show lined up for you tonight. We have some live and film sketches. As well as performances from DIG and Da Capella. So, sit, sit back, back relax, relax, and, and enjoy, enjoy the, the show. Hasselbeck equation will never go away. This is how we I don't know, man. He's saying we need to know this for medical school. Like, I don't even think I want to go anymore. Like, 
maybe I can go to pharmacy school, maybe I could become a PT, I don't know. Hey, I feel that. Both my doctor parents want me to become a doctor, and there's so many good specialties that you can choose between any of them. But honestly, I'm considering a PA. PA? Like, like an announcer? What's that? What's a PA? One eternity later. Are you trying to take your blood pressure? I I don't think you're supposed to listen to the chest. Blood or take blood pressure? I can't really hear you right now. Um. Oh, oh this will make you. Oh, just hold on. Okay. Uh. Then I'll Great way to kick off our orientation for ECMH. I'd like to warmly welcome all of the new M1s. Um, I remember how excited I was as a fresh M1 coming to the Feinberg School of Medicine at my ECMH orientation. You're going to learn so much, and I know that you know as an M1, you're just going to have such a great time. I think that the best way to start this off would be for all the M1s to introduce themselves. <laughs> Yeah, well, um, I'm Iris. I'm obviously an M1. I just think that based on my um, astrology sign and my income bracket, I think I'd make a really good ophthalmologist. Um, I'm Bianca. I'm also an M1. My dad's a dermatologist and my mom's a plastic surgeon. So if I could say one thing, it's that I really deserve to be here. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to meet you. Um, I don't think we met before. Could you remind us of your name? Yeah, yeah. My name's Maya. I'm I'm a PA student here, so yeah, PA one, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um, is that with the Feinberg School of Medicine? Is that the ECMH orientation? Yeah, like it. It's with the Feinberg School of Medicine. Yeah, I had to go to the orientation for ECMH twice, actually. I don't know. They like made it made us go to it twice. Maybe make sure we knew about the M1 assignments and stuff, but... <laughs> okay. Yeah. So yeah, as a PA student, I, I'm supposed to be here. This is like my assigned ECMH. All right. Um, what is a PA student? <laughs> 3,000 years later. Hi. Hi. My name's Amaya. I'll be the PA seeing you today. Oh, nice to meet you, Doc. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not your doctor. Um, I'm the PA, like the physician assistant. Oh, you do like the pathology stuff, is that right? No, no, not like pathology, like physician assistant. Like I'm able to like take your medical history. Okay, so like you're the medical assistant. Oh, d should I get on the scale? Do you need to weigh me? No, um, actually you probably should have already seen the medical assistant. Um, I did, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, like instead I'm, like, I'm able to kind of do the physical exam parts as a PA. Like a nurse. No, no, I'm, I'm not really a nurse. Um, I like I'm able to uh, diagnose illnesses and prescribe medications. My, my sister-in-law does that. She's a nurse practitioner too. So she's a nurse practitioner. Yeah. yeah well, I guess that's closer. That's closer. Okay. But you know, NPs are different than PAs, and so they're taught using the nursing model, and I'm taught using the medical model. Okay. So, so okay. Different. you're a resident. No, I'm not a resident. So like residents, like I guess, are kind of like described as like doctors in training somewhat, but like I'm never, I'm never gonna be a doctor like that. Um, so it's kind of different. Like I guess we both kind of work under the, you know, physician in that way, but our roles are different on the team. So I'm, it's, you know, it's just different as a PA. Okay, so you're like you're an associate to the physician. Yeah, I guess like a physician associate, it works. Does that work for you? Yeah, yeah, okay. You need a better marketing <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm glad we cleared that up. Oh, so, so can you confirm your name and date of birth for me? Yeah, John Patterson, 31495. Mm -hmm. Okay, John, um, so it seems that I might be in the wrong room. Uh, so, I'm gonna go now. Okay. Um, it was nice to meet you. Okay. Um, do I see the doctor now then, or? M maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> okay, so in, in 
ironic twist of fate, the sketch about all the PAs happened to be on the night that the PA school scheduled a separate event so none of the PAs could actually be here and appreciate that. So, thank them when you see them later. Um, so, In Vivo isn't just about comedy, we're here to support the rest of the fine arts at Fine Bird as well. And it turns out, some of us have real talents that don't involve talking shit about classmates or complaining about Zam. So, here to provide actually an enjoyable, uplifting version of a listening tour. See what I did there? Please give it up for Dr. Pella. <laughs> Oh, 
men out and lose and sleep, dreaming about the things that we could be. But baby, I've been out and praying hard, said no more counting dollars, we'll be counting stars. Yeah, we'll be counting stars. <laughs> Oh. 
sister. I could not be prouder of them. So everyone, please give them a round. Of
is a number from the hit musical Mamma Mia about making a challenging decision, something that is very relevant to medical students exploring various career paths. Perhaps we can take a lesson from Broadway and use disco flair and dance moves to help solve our problems.
question. Again, before we get to that sketch, a couple words from Rhea. Ethics class is a really great part of the curriculum. It really makes you think about the duty of medical professionals and the complexities of patient care. It also forces you to get to know your peers and their opinions on a much deeper level than you really ever wanted to know. But what happens when an ethics lecture takes things too far? Let's find out in our next sketch, Ethics Class. We'd like to take this moment to thank you again for coming out and enjoying someone who needs assistance. Do you have a duty to stop and help that person? No. Flip your cards to blue if you say yes, we should stop, we have a duty. Or red if you say don't, don't do, the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> just not hurting patients, but also helping <laughs> Turns out, I actually forgot to tell you something about the person. My bad. Sorry. The person at the side of the street hates me. That's not going to change, does it? <laughs> that's necessarily relevant to what's going on right now. Like, someone's life is in danger. You gotta help. So, how long have you believed that women... <laughs> yeah, gotcha. I think women have enough. Right? <laughs> 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 I think women should get more rights. We should get more rights for women, but right now, that's not relevant. Oh I have women friends. Just <laughs> Not relevant to the case. <laughs> I mean, you should help somebody if they're in need. But they hate women, and you hate women, and you're with the murder of the. Well, do you, you want her mother? <laughs> I think we should call his mother and let her know that he hates women. I think you guys are sick. Every week. Flip the <laughs> Maybe I could raise the baby. <laughs> I told you, the baby 
is Chris <laughs> Evans. <laughs> Sorry, did I say Evans? I meant Pratt. <laughs> Maybe it's Chris Pratt. <laughs> what if I told you the baby is me? <laughs>
I see some people leaving. I think they were wearing scrubs underneath their dance clothing. Okay, and before we get to... Oh, this is supposed to be all That's sorry. Um, before we get to the next sketch, another quick intro from Ria. We'd like to take this moment to thank you again for coming out and enjoying your evening with InVivo. Although we know this night is for fun and entertainment, we also wanted to take some time to shed light on an important issue. Next up, we have a message from the American Society of Prevention of Cruelty to Medical Students. Once again, that those extracurriculars they claimed on AMCAS were actually true, please give it up for Dan's interest group.
electrifying performances by dance. Thank you so much for being here and sharing all of your incredible talents. Uh, we just have a little bit left, but again, one more intro to the next sketch from Maria. Listen, CEC is a great opportunity to practice our clinical skills, but every now and then you get that SP that comes in with a ton of problems and you find yourself asking questions that kind of don't feel relevant. This next one is for students that had the aortic dissection SP in CEC. Up next, CEC session. Today we're going to take a social history. Um, you can ask the patient. So today we're going to take a social history. Um, you can ask the patient who brought them in, but mainly we're going to focus on just the social history. Any questions? No. So who wants to go first? Anyone? All right. Great. Step outside and make sure you close your eyes. Uh, so the patient say if requested to enter without the student seeing them first. So here's the clipboard. All right. Team today. Can you confirm your first and last name? Mr. John Waters. Mr. John Waters. My pronouns are he, him, his. How about you? He, him, his. Great. Um, so, what? Are you 
本擦。<笑>
summer heat receded, every M2 decided to become a climate activist during the great thermostat wars of Daniel Hill Williams <laughs> We are happy to announce a ceasefire was reached once the bro road threatened to come to class shirtless. <laughs> Gave in their demands to avoid that spate. Our M2 year kicked off in terms of content with head and neck. I'm still wrapping my head around how long this module was. I mean, it's wild that we needed four weeks to cover how to give head and neck physical exams. <laughs> And our Neuroblock started off with a wonderful celebrity guest appearance as our resident Julia Child impersonator welcomed us to his kitchen to showcase his best knife skills. <laughs> In other news, the neuropractical exam did have a surprisingly low pass rate. Uh, one hotspot turning point question in particular had to be thrown out after every single heterosexual man could not identify where the clitoris was. Psych module was a much needed period to debrief and decompress. It also happened to be our lowest exam average yet, so I figured we should maybe get some step one studying accomplished tonight. So take a look at this quick recap of the psych module content. PTSD, trauma, generational trauma, 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 rage and trauma, rage and trauma, PTSD, trauma, post-traumatic stress, female trauma, generational trauma, family trauma, you know, generational trauma, generational trauma, generational trauma, 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 trauma. This is what trauma looks like. Imagine what would happen if every person in the United States suddenly visited your website. <laughs> That's what happened when we all tried to check our OSCE scores at the same time. We were uh, but I actually didn't go to chat class for the GI module. I learned everything I needed to know about GI from you, Chicago. They're pushing on our territory. The GI module also brought with it our third OSCE. And is it just me, or was the SP feedback from OSCE 3 a little weird? Um, let's check out an example. Your eyes were almost shut and nodded your head and almost... When you came into the room with such a wide smile, your eyes were almost shut and nodded your head an almost aggressive amount. I felt unsure and uncomfortable about how genuine this smile was. It felt too much for the moment and somewhat upsetting as I was here because I was in pain. Uh, just to clarify, that was real life SP feedback to one of our When you came into the room with such a wide and we don't need to hear any more of that. That's nice, though, that you got that feedback. Meanwhile, my feedback just read this. <laughs> Unfortunately, the official Dr. Pat Garcia PBL concept mapping cup did not make a return for M2 a year. Incidentally, Pat Garcia will not be returning in her role as Dean for M3. And honestly, let's give a round of applause for Dr. Garcia. So much has been done into um, this year and all of her years in her service. Yeah, she's nothing if not consistent. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we met about the concept map leaving, and then also she stepping away. So it, that wasn't a joke. We're just being nice. Consistency. Uh, if it had been awarded this year, though, I'm certain it would have gone to the enterprising student who went above and beyond in their learning issue and developed alcoholic fatty liver disease after the dean's reception. <laughs> And speaking of PBL, M1s in the audience, we are pleased to announce that Senate funds have been allocated to purchase seasonal affective disorder lamps to be installed in every conference room in the Gulter Library. 
for the dreary winter days when PBL ends after the 4 p.m. sunset. Uh, as a member of Senate, this is not true. So, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but losing Dr. Garcia as a dean uh, has been really hard for me and also has been making me reflect on our time here and some of those we also lost along the way. So now it is time for our in memoriam section. If um, Dr. Pella could come down here and do some sad music while we go through this, that'd be great now. Okay, so starting off at our in memoriam, two taco. <laughs> The SQ ping pong table. Yeah. Still in Treisman Lounge, but honestly, half of us probably have never stepped foot in there, so. Uh, next, again, we've lost concept mapping in the M2 oh. year. Yeah. Welcome week faculty dinner. <laughs> As well, we've lost probably about 50% of M1 dating couples. <laughs> Uh, law library access. And this is a warning. <laughs> and then finally, our most treasured possession that we lost was the Larynx left out. <laughs> okay. That's it for the M2 update. Uh, just a few more closing words and we'll be out of here. Thank, Thank you, you all. so much. Good night. Good night.